Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, NAODS.com, and welcome to this Quick Tip Tuesday, also known as Tuesdays with Michelle. I like to try to do some of these quick videos every Tuesday if I can. Um, usually it falls on every other Tuesday, but this is like a three or four minute uh, tip of the day, and we are going to cover Tilt Shift. Now normally when you open up your photo, it's going to be in the expert mode. What you're going to do is you're going to bounce on over to the guided mode, which is just the middle icon there. So the tilt shift can be found in the guided section, and you go over to the right hand side and you will see touch ups, you'll see photo effects, and you will also see a section that says photo play. Now depending on how you have your default set, they might be open or they might be closed. I like to go ahead and close them up and then start from there so that you can see where we are in the process. So you have touch ups, photo effects, and photo play. The tilt shift will be found in the photo effects area. So I'm going to click on the little arrow that points down and then you will notice it's the third one from the bottom. It says tilt shift. Go ahead and click on that. And I don't use this a lot, but I did find it might be useful for this particular photo. When I was in San Francisco filming the Creative Live two-day class, I really wanted to uh, take a picture of the makeup room because I thought that was so cool. However, I didn't really want myself to be in the photo. I kind of wanted to blur myself out. And I wanted all the makeup to be in, uh, in focus. So what I did was I went ahead and opened up the photo. I clicked on Add Tilt Shift and it's going to go ahead and do it automatically for me. However, if I don't want it to be automatic, I can click on Modify Focus Area, which is number two. So Modify Focus Area. Then what you do is you come out to where you want it to be in focus, and you, got, you get this little crosshairs here. See that little um, plus sign? If you click and drag, that will then tell it where it needs to be in focus. So I'm going to click and drag a really large section maybe more so down here, and I want this more of the um, makeup to be in focus, and I don't want myself or the makeup artist to really be in focus. So you have to kind of play around with it a little bit. You can also hit the refine effect as well, and then you can blur out areas more so. So if I push it all the way to the right hand side, you'll see that we are blurred out a lot. I don't need us to be blurred out that much. The contrast can be big or small, so I'm going to kind of play around with that a little bit. But that looks pretty good. Then I go ahead and click on Done, and now I have the tilt shift effect on this photo. Everything up here is blurred out, and stuff down here is also blurred out. You can also bounce back over to the Expert Mode if you want to, and click on that top layer and take down the opacity if you didn't want it to be too much. So you can kind of play around with both of those layers to see what works best for you. I then would probably go back into my Crop Tool, maybe crop it a little bit. And I do want to rotate it just a bit so it lines up maybe with that countertop right there. And then hit the Commit Current Operation. And then it will go ahead and move it into place. So I hope you learned a lot. If you want to put samples down below, if you're watching this in Facebook, go ahead and post them down below under the comments. I'd love to hear if you want me to continue doing these or not, so click on the like and share if you think you have friends that might be interested in this video as well. And place your comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me. Again, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Bye-bye.